This is the most unique RV I've seen as of yet. We sold our house along with almost everything we owned. And we packed up the RV to live a lifestyle on the road. Now we're free from sticks and bricks in that old life we used to know. Come and join on our adventures, all the places that we'll go. And living in the RV is sublime. Destination, full time. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jason. I'm Julie. And we're Destination Full Time. And as you can probably tell, we're not in our RV. Nope. We're in somebody else's RV. Whose RV are we in? Dave and Lori. Here they are. Here they hey are. guys, welcome Destination RV. Welcome to our trailer. And we're uh, glad you're here to give you a tour. This is all custom. And I knew that you guys would love to see this. So this is uh, one of a kind. Uh, the inspiration is off a Lux trailer, which my wife, girlfriend Lori uh, is inspired by but we didn't want to pay the big cost bill so last year we had a new uh, grand design which we loved but wasn't ours so we decided we purchased this as a 2009 Montana 3665 uh, it, it does not look like a Montana not, no 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 <laughs> we did some changes drastically a little <laughs> so it was full carpet full oak full ornate uh, trim and and whatnot and uh, we just took it all apart and made it uh, our own and this is spectacular okay this is the coolest living room I want you to tell us all about what you did here so starting off basically what we did is we gutted it all out right to the walls and then we took our shiplap uh, uh, Lori wanted shiplap uh, we had a lake house before this so this was kind of inspired by our lake house as well um, and the Lux fifth wheel so we did it all built in and uh, we did uh, you know the 55 inch TV so it will come right out uh, when we're, we're sitting here to watch TV yeah, and then fun. traveling we can put it back in or out. Uh, we did the fireplace, the Sonos sound bar, uh, we did built ins on either side with storage and down here we did a ice maker so we can sit down in there. Nice. Oh we, wow it yeah. shuts on its own. Yes yeah, so we did all new cabinetry uh, with soft closing doors, um, you know all new trim. And I then, like your blinds. And yeah. who, who was your uh, interior designer? This lady right here. Wow, Lori. she did phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. she's uh, pretty good at it. And uh, so then what we did was did all custom blinds out of Lowe's to so like kind of give a beachy feel. Yeah, this is very beachy to me. Yeah. The blue, I love the Wedgwood blue. Yeah, and then uh, what we did was we, you know, everything in here is uh, fully residential. So we went with, uh, other than the furniture is out of a Lux fifth wheel. Uh, we went with the residential ottoman, uh, the dining room chairs, all the lighting is out of uh, residential lighting. Okay, check out these chairs though. Have you ever seen these chairs in an RV? Look at that. Hmm. So nice. I really like all the hardware and how it's just uniform throughout the whole coach. That's really nice. Laura, you picked all this out? I did, yes. Yeah, and like you said, all the doors are all, all basically so soft cool. closing. And, and uh, Lori keeps it all pretty organized pretty well. But look at this kitchen. Like, this is a chef's dream. Look at this. I have never seen an RV have an oven or cooktop like this. Yeah, this is just five amazing. Five burner gas range cooktop with the 30 inch convection oven. And I heard a rumor that there's a dishwasher. Yeah, you pull that little handle out right we there. We can open it? Okay. Yeah. Ooh, there's all my stuff that. hidden in there, but there you are. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, wow, and then, then we did a little coffee bar station oh, here. Oh wow, look at that. That's so cool, isn't it? So we have plenty of storage and then we did a full residential fridge. That's nice. A freezer, pantry inside there. I mean, oh, every, every luxury yeah, you could add. I love the continuity of the color throughout the entire coach. It all coach. flows quite nicely. Yeah. And then one of the nicest features I always like to brag because I had no idea this existed. But once we did the whole renovation, we bought the light, a lot of times you got to press the button here to go on and off. And I was super bummed out about it. And the, a buddy that helped build the kitchen, he says, oh, you can buy a light switch without the wiring. So oh. basically you put a frequency up here, a remote frequency, and then half the switch. And then basically here, you know, with a residential switch, and it look, he gives you the whole feeling without any wires. So you just press and then it, it works. So we were able to do any of the 110 lighting with all that and not have to run any of the wires. So that was wow. pretty cool. If somebody wants like to purchase this or they want you to do this for them, 
are you in the market or you just I, one I, and done? Yes, I'm not really in the market. We have been talking about doing another one over though. So this might be up for sale if we found a toy hauler, you know, uh, the one with the bedroom that rises up. So oh, just yeah. for the new motorcycle. Very but cool. uh, for now, it's not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of work, you know. More than you thought. Look at yeah. this. Yeah. I mean, that's all this. residential faucets, yeah, uh, quartz countertops. And I see you have the matching countertop. Yeah, the matching countertops flows through right into the bathroom, oh, which you'll see yeah. in a minute, and into the bookends on the side of the bedroom. You want to come up in here? And then you made your steps too. Oh, your yeah, wings. those are all homemade steps with the, uh, you know, we did a little drawer slide. We got this off one of the other videos where, you know, put some extra storage in there. And then we put all new, uh, that's a big know, shower. tankless water heater, residential shower with the rain head. Oh, and then we went with a high uh, Dometic, uh, Dometic toilet. And then we did all residential lighting here too. So what we did in here is we put a full residential dresser in. And then uh, just recently before the tornado came through, we uh, installed this uh, Rec Pro air conditioner, which I highly recommend. It's very low, like it's running now. Super quiet. The decibels too. are the lowest in the industry. Wow. And you can run this on heat mode, fan mode, dehumidifying mode, all from a rope right beside your Wait, bed. Wait, is this the one that you had just installed and right then before the tornado. everybody goes flying out Yeah, here. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't leak. So uh, we're laughing. <laughs> yeah. So we installed some lights and we did the ship lap to follow the theme through. You know, Love all again, Lori's. Uh, Lori did so good. Her this uh, is decorating, yeah, her decorating, too. yeah. And Lori, then, you uh, have some skills. In, beside the, in behind the door there, we put in an all in one washer and dryer, which you can open the door oh, there. Wow. So that's oh, a real nice. handy feature. Oh, yeah, that exactly fits. Yeah. This is and up beautiful. top, she's able to put all of her linens and laundry stuff in there. And then this is a yeah. These are all cabinets. just little pantries, yeah, like you know, all she's got all her hats and clothes in there. And then we got another like lots of storage for jackets. Yeah. And then oh, and everything's yeah, self closed. Closet there, yeah. Everything's on self close. This so. is just amazing. I, I knew yeah. the when I saw it, I said, "Oh, we have to film this. We have to show everybody yeah. how cool this is." Yeah. I've seen some custom, but this is. This takes the cake, when you say, Jason? Mm -hmm. yeah. Even the lighting, we, we took the old uh, nine volt lighting, the long, dreary eyed, you know, old yep. fashioned lighting. We were able to change this out to the new style lighting to give you a newer wow. look. So this was uh, this was the regular wallpaper you just painted over it? Yes, correct. Gotcha. This was all and the ceiling as well. This was all so blue and it? orange. Yeah, we came in. We do that for a living. Mm -hmm. Back home, we do uh, commercial spraying and painting. So this was all done just with an airless sprayer. Wait, if you didn't know, he's actually Canadian. Canadian. I don't know if you could tell with his <laughs> yeah. with his accent. C A N A D A, <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, so cool. that's about it. That's the, the tour of the 38 foot. Uh, I see you field. even added plug ins. Yeah, we did again. We carried in the quartz counters here for the ends, wow. and then we built little, you know, plugs for the uh, USBs and whatnot for charging our phones at nighttime. This is just amazing. Yeah, and uh, you know, it works out well so far. We've, uh, we hadn't even tested it coming from Canada all the way to Florida. We hadn't hooked it up, so uh, it's uh, been three months and uh, it's, uh, it's working out well. where you have your drinks outside. All your campers nice. come in, you don't have to go in and out. So you got your 90 inch more eight sliding tray, reversible on both sides, so you can organize all your tools and whatnot. Nice. Everybody needs one of those. These are the best, uh, best apparatuses for RVN for sure. Keeps everything organized and you know where everything is. Right? This is the wrap up of the RV and uh, you know, we love it, it's our home. And uh, as we said earlier, you know, we renovated, but we left Canada in December. We literally bolted up the steps and hadn't tested anything. Um, and we've been here three months. It's working out well. Uh, and with that note, we just want to say this is all owed to Trish and Mark from Keep Your Daydream. This woman here started watching you four years ago. I had no idea that I would be RVing today and spending our winters in Florida. Uh, we had a lake house, we sold it. Uh, we still carry a house back home, but uh, we've been doing this now three years 
and all tribute to me walking by her one night and she had keep your daydream on when they first started out so uh we appreciate that we're having lots of fun meeting people like jason and julie from destination rv yeah, friends nice. forever or destination full-time yes uh, but anyways <laughs> okay. uh, meeting these guys friends for life uh, it is a great lifestyle you guys take care enjoy and uh, i'm glad we could give you the tour Destination full time. 